Uh, Taoiseach, yesterday the Minister for Health announced that IVF will be funded by the public system in 2023. For very many couples, of course, that is a very welcome announcement. If it happens, it will mean that Ireland is no longer the only country in the EU without any public funding of IVF. It would mean that access to this fertility treatment is no longer reserved for those who either have enough money or those who are willing and able to go into very substantial debt. But I don't want to hold my breath about it because we have heard this before from the then Minister for Health, uh, Leo Varadkar, in 2016. It's in Sláinte Care, it's in the programme for government, and there has been precious little progress. So I'm asking Taoiseach for a guarantee that this is actually going to happen in 2023 and a time frame for, for when that will be within that year. I'm also asking for a commitment that it will be sufficiently fun sufficient funding will be provided for the public system to ensure it can be done publicly as opposed to outsourced to private, mostly for-profit providers. Well, to be fair to Minister Donnelly, um, in terms of women's health in the last budget, uh, he's, he allocated €31 million Euros for new um, developments uh, in relation to uh, supporting women's health and that uh, in terms of additional funding uh, in terms of the national maternity strategy to, to, into 2022 and beyond free funding access to contraception for women from 17 years to 25 uh, for the developments of menopause care by increasing the number of specialist menopause clinics from one to four uh, increased investment in sexual assault treatment units and a whole range of other developments so there is form in terms of the minister's commitment in terms of securing funding and in terms of the minister intends to roll out a model of care for infertility which will see the introduction of advanced assisted human reproduction treatments including IVF in the public health system. Minister Danley plans to commence this in uh, 2023 uh, and that is his commitment.